All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are here again with another tutorial with Uncle Jim, and uh, it's a bit of an addendum to one of the tutorials that we did before. Uh, we did a tutorial a little while back about making realistic trees, and we took one of these plants. I forgot the name of the plant. Autumn Sedum. Autumn Sedum. And Autumn Joy. Probably. Autumn Joy. Sorry. Autumn Joy Sedum. And we, and we showed how you can make a realistic tree uh, with that and a little bit of flocking and some paint. Um, and now we're moving on to a different type of tree. We got the pine tree. We talked about the Christmas trees a little bit in the video, but we didn't show anything. No, we didn't, but I, I, I wanted to do this because there were guys laughing that were saying, you know, snow-covered trees, what's the, what, what's the deal? Yeah. Well, you get these for next to nothing. I mean, you go to garage sales and estate sales, and so many grandmas get these things for Christmas, yeah. or, and then they're just giving them away for 5, 10 cents. This was 25 cents. Wow. I got two of them, actually. <laughs> and I wanted to show you uh, what I do to take a cheap snow... And, and, and the key is, it's a Christmas mass-produced item. Right. As opposed to a pine tree for 8 to $10 at a hobby shop or online right. that's already done. Yeah. So here I got 25 cents into this. Uh, we'll, we'll start by... Uh, we'll start by using the brown. Hand me, hand me uh, one of those browns. Yeah. Probably let's do the lighter one Light because I've used a darker yeah. one before. And so what I'm going to do is shoot the bottom of this in brown, yeah. and then I'm going to shoot the the overall in a dark ivy green. That one down there. This sucker right here. Yeah. And uh, then uh, I didn't do it before, but I think I missed it with light green, so the tips get like new growth. Right. And then and then we'll let that dry. And uh, then we will, I'll show you how to finish it off with some flock. And we'll take a junky white tree and make it into something nice. All right, I sounds hope. good. I hope. Yeah, okay, so my, my intentions are to turn this booth on. We won't be able to talk while it's on. Uh, and I'm just going to spray the bottom uh, brown so whatever doesn't get green on it still looks brown into the inside. Mm. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, Ryan, if you would just put that whole assembly back over there. Whoop. Okay, yeah, I'm going to turn the fan on. Alright. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my, my cheapy holder here. And spray that brown all across the bottom. Now on the other tree I did a dark brown. Right. And I wanted to experiment a little bit and see what this lighter brown looked like. And if it fails, I can do it over, right? Right, exactly. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way up the tree to make sure we don't have any of that snow showing. Exactly, yeah. So now, the bottoms are painted brown. And what I intend to do now is to shoot this dark green on it. Can you take that lid off for everybody? Yes, I will. All right, let's do that. This way now. All right. It's like watching the seasons change right in front of you. Yeah, house. right. <laughs> That's right. You look at that. All right. Hardly so, a trace. And you know? That's really... Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is tape it down to this piece of cardboard slash newspaper. Um, what? I'm going to use this cardboard for the flocking. So let's take this guy and set him aside to dry. Right. He's no longer snow covered. You can put him under the under the fan over there if you like. Right. Let's do that. And after he dries, he'll look like this. Now, hmm. uh, uh, that's the plug there, Ryan. Oh, let's turn this on so we can talk. Okay. 
Okay, so see these big voids? Yes. I'm not worried about those. Okay. And I'll show you why when we're, when we're done with these guys, okay? <coughs> God bless you, sir. Thank you. All right, so the dark brown is on this one. I think the lighter brown looked better. You can hardly see the dark brown on yeah. this. But, yeah. Uh, now what I intend to do is to flock this. Flock it, okay. So what I'm going to do is tape it down to this. And that, that wooden slug that's at the bottom, mm -hmm. that can be cut off. Or you can glue it down on the track and put plaster over it. There's other things you can do. Yeah. So that little slug at the bottom, when we get pink on it, I'm not worried about it. Then this stuff here. Can you bring that down? Yeah, you folks might remember the, uh, the hairspray. From... Yeah, and the, and, the flocking. and the flocking. This is um, this is the T50 Earth Blend, the fine turf. This is burnt grass fine turf. And this is dark green or weeds fine turf T46. Mm. These are all made uh, by uh, oh my goodness I can't remember the name of the outfit. You get these at the hobby shop. We yeah. talked about them before. So uh, now if you give me that turnstile. Yes. Put that right up in there. There we go. Perfect. And do this. So what I intend to do now is to take some of this uh, hairspray, just common hairspray, and, uh, you know, I think i changed my mind. I'm going to hold that. I think I'm better off holding that, guys. Okay. Because I can spin it easier, you know what I mean? Right. And I can I can hold it down. So we're just going to put that down like that. We're going to take the Lazy Susan away. Let's send it over there. I'm going to make a big mess. And uh, I don't think we need the, uh, the fan. I'm going to spray this with hairspray. And while it's wet, could you take the lid off that dark green one, please? The lid off the dark green, here you go. Up, uh, wrong. Put the lid back on. That's the one that has a pierced, pierced, pierced holes. Yes. Good. That's what I want. There you go. These pierced holes. So I'm going to sprinkle this on. And the little wires kind of turn into branches instead oh. of just little cheaper wires. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. Huh. Man. <laughs> and I'm catching it on this so that I can reuse it. Oh, that's smart. See, this is a uh, this is how you you know don't go through so much flocking. You know, when you're making this stuff, I've heard guys ask in the comments like, "Oh, you know, the flocking alone's gonna cost you." Hundreds of dollars. You just reuse you know. it. You just reuse it. You reuse the excess and... Uh, You'd be amazed, you know. Yeah. Like I said in the other video, for $14, you got a lifetime supply. Yeah. If you're smart about it. Right. Okay, so we're going to run with that. I'm going to bring it out here so you can see it in the light. Take, it, take a look, see at that. So, it looks a little bit more lifelike. It fills it in quite a bit. Right. What we're going to do now... <clears throat> Just go to one of these. You'll hand that to me, will you please? Yes, which one? Uh, what, your choice. Let's go for the light green today. And the reason there's two different ones is because I don't want two trees to be alike. Right. And that makes a lot of sense. You know, you want to um, differentiate. That's how you make yeah. the track look yeah. realistic. Otherwise, otherwise, they all look the same. Watch a lid come off on this. <laughs> it's happened before. That's why you got the newspaper yeah. down there, you know, collect okay, the excess. So, yeah, so there's there's the new, new growth on it. Huh. So it's a far cry from the snow-covered tree, and we did that for, geez, for sure less than a dollar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I wanted to end by, um, Ryan, get that other tree there. Turn off the fan so we can have it a little bit quieter and talk. Yeah. The reason I'm not worried about these crush spots is because when you put pine trees on the layout and you just have them out in the open like a Christmas tree, it just doesn't look realistic. It's a good idea to find the bad spots on two trees and put them together like this. Hmm. And when you put them on the layout, they look like they've grown into each other. Yes. And they look much more authentic. Now, you can leave... You can leave uh, the tree just painted green, or you can flock it the way I did. The flocking, when it dries, will add a you know another dimension to it. You know what I mean? Right, right. I mean this one on the right is good enough, but the one on the left is finished off. You know right. what I'm saying? 
And you can cut these to different sizes. I can cut this to be shorter, you know, and have it like this. Mm -hmm. Let me show you where I use that idea on these trees. Yeah, let's go take a look. There's a, there's a lot of very, very nice uh, options here. That, that's finished detail. Right? Yeah, I'm right here. Yep. Beautiful. Base. Beautiful. It's a it's a good way to cover up those those damaged portions. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a good addition to the to the other video because anyone who's been into any wooded area will know that there's more than one type of tree. Well, there were there you were know? doubters in the comments. You know why why use snow covered trees? Well, they're so much cheaper and it's not exactly. that hard to paint them. You exactly, know? exactly. Not a not a snow covered tree in sight, as you can see. You know, just a little <laughs> bit of work, you can really transform it to something pretty awesome. Well, thank you for showing uh, your tips. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. I mean, again, this is how you make a, a track uh, when you don't want to spend, you know, $10,000 on just the scenery, right? Yeah, $300 race track. <laughs> right, exactly. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see a specific topic covered in a tutorial, please let us know in the comments below, and we will try and get to it when uh, we come back. And otherwise, just drop a like on this video if you enjoy this sort of content. Otherwise, subscribe, and we'll try and bring you some more pretty soon. Otherwise, signing off.